yes good morning good morning students how are you all welcome to english online class english class yes yes my dear children this is yes substitute class today uh, instead of physics class you have english right so we are going to continue the lesson after 20 years after 20 years it is it is written by william sydney potter okay his pen name is o henry o henry has written a very beautiful short story named after 20 years after 20 years already the teacher has taught you certain things right today i am going to just sum up the full story and let us enjoy this story very good story it is about friendship it is about faithfulness it is about character building yes do you have friends do you treat your friends well yes we friends we always we talk with our friends am i right we will call them now this is corona time you are not meeting your friends in school but certainly you will have uh, interaction with them through whatsapp call or you will call them and talk to them somehow somehow or anyway you will be keeping in touch with your friends am i correct yes that is friendship friendship means we always keep in touch that that, that is school friends yes we we have a very good uh, relationship that we always keep in touch even though corona has made you to uh, go away from this uh, experience but still you are experiencing in your house no problem right now here friendship there are two friends jimmy wells and bob these two are very good friends but they have a very strange agreement what is the agreement both of them now see here jimmy wells was 20 years old he was a senior and the other friend his name is bob bob is 18 years old so when jimmy and bob when they are 20 and 18 they made an agreement that they would separate themselves and they would have reunion after 20 years after 20 years they will meet again this is the plan that they made why is this strange plan because bob he wanted to go to west to seek his fortune see they are 18 and 20 years old right that is the age where they will complete the graduation in in india when they will complete the graduation and they will go for job so here the story takes place in uh, foreign country that bob he wanted to go for some work to western country so he wanted to say goodbye to his friend jimmy wells so both of them they met in a restaurant what is the name of the restaurant it is big joe bradis restaurant big joe bradis restaurant yes so they had a funeral meal that is not you sorry they had a farewell meeting the final meeting with them right the parting meeting they are going to be separated so they met in big joe bradis restaurant and 10 o'clock night they separated so when they separated they made a decision that after 20 years wherever they may be whatever position they are possessing that doesn't matter they have to come to the same restaurant big joe bradis restaurant at 10 o'clock to meet each other this is the agreement this is the plan because they are very good friends bob and jimmy wells they are very good friends okay good friends right so now what happened after saying goodbye to jimmy wells bob went to come on where did he go west okay western country he went to a western country why to look for his job and opportunity so he started to go away now years passed how many years passed 20 years passed now tell me what is the age of bob 18 plus 20 38 and what is the age of jimmy wells 40 yes middle aged people they might they might have got married and they might have got children okay we don't know okay but in this story after 20 years okay bob he came back to the big joe bradis restaurant he came back to the place right 
thousand miles he traveled to come to the place and when he came to the place everything was looking different everything was looking different he was looking for big joe brady's restaurant where is this restaurant here only you know like that he was having some doubt because 20 20 years passed away 20 years passed away. after 20 years he has come to his native place in new york this story is taking place in new york america right so uh, 20 years america has changed a lot see even karangal okay 20 years before how it was you only know very well okay but now you are 15 16 years old just you imagine when you when you are young how this place and now you go to nagar koil or whatever it is right when years passes when years pass and everything will get changed so bob was uh, looking differently at this place where is this restaurant where is big joe brady's restaurant like that he was having a confusion but he went to the place that restaurant might be here this is the place but there is some other shop now like that he was thinking and he was standing there and it was a very cold evening okay it was very cold and all the shops were closed here and there some uh, night dinner shops and some uh, cigar cigarette shop they were open all other shops were closed okay now imagine this is the situation the story starts like that it was a very cold night all the shops closed and one or two shops were open that is cigarette shops and some dinner hotel some hotel shops right other than that there were no lights and uh, in the darkness job bob was standing waiting for his friend jimmy wells bob was standing there and there was a policeman very strong fit healthy policeman a policeman was walking okay he was on his patrol night duty he was checking all the doors he was coming when the policeman came he was checking all the doors to check whether everything is in order he, he was coming on patrol when he saw a man standing in darkness immediately as a policeman he would have some suspicion isn't it am i right so he just went to that man when he went to the man immediately bob said sir sir no issue so reassuringly he informed him sir i am just waiting here for my friend i am waiting for my friend jimmy wells this is the plan that we made 20 years ago policeman already policeman means what they will always look everything in a very suspicious eye okay sir sir please don't have any doubt this it may look very strange to you but this is what we made a plan we, we i was 18 years old and my friend jimmy was 20 years old when we were separated in the same place here only one restaurant was there sir the name of the restaurant was big joe brady's restaurant here only it was there but then the policeman said yes you are right your restaurant was here only you are right but before five years it was demolished before five years it was oh oh that is the thing it was but so i have come to the right place everything is changed 20 years had changed everything and he was having a cigarette in his hand a cigar it was not lit but he was having a cigar and he was speaking then after this discussion he lit the cigar okay so the policeman saw the face of bob he lit the cigar and he said he continued after lighting the cigar bob continued yes sir 20 years before i had promised jimmy wells jimmy i would come after 20 years wherever i might be i asked jimmy also to come to west but he didn't come he always wanted to stay in new york he was such a uh, person who wanted to stay in the same place so jimmy didn't come with me but we made a promise wherever we may be whatever position we are in no problem we will meet after 20 years at 10 o'clock in night in the same place this is what we planned and i have come here to meet my friend jimmy and i am just waiting for my friend nothing else sir so don't get any doubt so uh, the policeman looked at him and he was having a stick in his hand he was swirling the stick and he said okay so i pray that your friend will come and meet you like that he told him so will you will your friend come on time or what then he said if my friend is alive if my friend is alive definitely he will come and meet me because he is my good friend he is my good friend i love him that is why i have traveled 1000 miles i have traveled 1000 miles to come and see my friend 
the policeman asked him okay after going to west okay did you have any correspondence with your friend did you uh, continue your relationship with him then he said yes after leaving going to west initially one or two years we have some correspondence and then everything stopped okay and when years passed by we lost con contact so no contact with him i don't know how he is or what he is going to do uh, but if he is alive if he is alive certainly my friend will come to meet me and he said okay i wish you all the best okay, may may your friend come and meet you like that the policeman is about to move away then he told the policeman policeman i will wait for another uh, half an hour okay i we fix the time at 10 o'clock but till 10 30 i will be here okay waiting for my friend if he is alive he will come like that he told him so the policeman said okay uh, i should say not okay good night sir the policeman and the policeman went away right and 20 minutes passed and uh, the man who came from west who traveled 1000 miles to meet his friend oh, he was waiting there smoking his cigar and waiting for his friend after 20 minutes your tall man came the tall man came he came straight away to that place in the darkness where bob was standing he went he reached the place and he said is that you bob like that he asked him right? is that you bob then bob looked at him and said is that you jimmy then that's all they were so happy two friends meeting after 20 years after 20 years right now corona time if you have not met your friend for one month or two months when you meet him what will you do you will hug him and hey friend come on like that how joy it is what a great joy to meet friends isn't it right and now after 20 years these two friends are meeting great joy no words to describe their happiness they were so happy they folded their hands they took the took the each other's arms and they were so happy okay and said hey how are you how is best so what are you he said yes best is very good he treated me very well i had a very good life okay i had everything and he was wearing a diamond watch okay and uh, he was very rich bob became very rich and jimmy you know the very tall then he said hey what is this you have grown very tall 2 3 inches you have grown taller then jimmy said yes i was 20 when you went away from me so after 20 years i grew tall okay is it possible to grow tall after 20 years okay but he made up a story okay he said i have grown tall okay then they both were walking then he said hey the joe bradis restaurant was not here okay if it is there then we can go and have our dinner because 20 years before same same night they had dinner and then only they got separated so they were talking about that and then bob was talking all about his life in west and the tall man jimmy he was listening and both of them were walking when they were walking after some time they reached a shop a, a drug store okay a drug store uh, chemist shop when they reached there on the light bob looked at jimmy was the tall man no? and he immediately he took away his hand he just let it you are not jimmy was you are not jimmy was like that immediately he shouted he said maybe 20 years you might have grown taller but your nose cannot grow no you have a very long nose but my friend jimmy doesn't have such a long nose see what he says he told him this says you are not jimmy was 20 years is a long time but not long enough to change a man's nose from your moment to a pug like that he said you have a big nose then uh, jimmy wells who uh, who was a very tall man no he told him yes i am not jimmy wells i am a police officer i have come here to arrest you for the past 10 minutes you are under arrest we know you are a man who is wanted for the police you are a chicago chicago police wanted you you are you are you are a silky boy okay you are a criminal you are a criminal you are under arrest i have come here to arrest you that is what he said okay bob yes bob was a criminal 
he went to west and he started to do lot of illegal business and he was wanted by police officers he had cheated the police but he was very faithful to keep up his words he wanted to see his friend so he became very sad oh what is this i came here to see my friend but the police caught me here like that he was unhappy so he was under arrest and the tall policeman when he was taking him he said before going let me give you a note please read this like that he gave me a note a small piece of paper right bob took the paper and he started to read when he was reading his hand started to tremble his hand was trembling when he was reading what happened can you guess can you guess my dear children yes that note was written by jimmy wells the note was written by jimmy wells yes the first officer who came with a stick who was patrol you know it was jimmy wells yes jimmy wells became a police officer and he came there to see whether his friend was there that day and he saw his friend he was so happy but when bob was lighting his cigarette in the light he saw the face and there was a big scar on his face and he could realize that this face is wanted by chicago police he understood immediately because he is a police officer he understood that bob was a criminal he thought his friend would be different but his friend became a criminal and on seeing his friend as a criminal being a honest police officer okay he couldn't let him escape from the place so he was very a justifiable man at the same time being a good friend he is also not able to arrest him because he is his friend who has traveled thousand miles to meet him after 20 years what a great love so look at the condition of jimmy wells the honest police officer right he felt very bad so without arresting him he walked away he went to a another police man plain clothes police man a multi police man he asked him please go there the place where big big job brad is was no there was a man standing he is silky bob a man who is wanted by police uh, police department go and arrest him like that he sent another police man okay so that he could do his work in a justifiable manner he doesn't want his friend to escape okay but he is also not able to arrest him so he sent another police man to arrest him like that the story ends see here very touching at the end very touching okay oh henry that is william sidney potter no he is a specialized writer in making twist at the end of the story all his stories will have a sudden sharp twist okay we cannot expect that, that, that story will end like that see here the story the note was going like that bob i was at the appointed place on time who is speaking jimmy wells i was at the appointed place on time when you struck the match to light your cigar i saw it was the face of the man wanted in chicago when you lit the cigar through the light i could see your face and i understood that this face is wanted by chicago police somehow i couldn't do it myself i couldn't arrest you my dear friend i couldn't arrest you you are my friend after 20 years you have come to see me what a great love you have but my dear friend why have you become a thief why have you become a criminal okay you see i have become a police officer you are my friend how did you become a criminal my dear somehow i couldn't do it myself so i couldn't arrest you by myself so i went around and got a plain clothes man to do the job to arrest you yes but at the same time you are my friend i love you so much but you are a criminal as a police officer i don't allow you to escape so i sent another police man to arrest you like that the note ended so when bob was reading the note his hands trembled his hands trembled why 
he was feeling guilty oh my friend my friend is an honest police officer but me but i what is my state i have become a thief my dear children 11th standard children how are you going to design your life after 20 years from now how your life is going to be planned plan prepare well motivate yourself all these english lessons are there for you to groom yourself after 20 years how you are going to be how you are going to be you look at your friend so after 20 years you and your friend meet each other what are you going to say how your lifestyle will be what will be your profession what will be your achievements we have to see every lesson will have some morals every lesson will teach you certain good things okay after 20 years good story by o henry what is the story about friendship two friends two friends in big job daddy's restaurant at the age of 18 and 20 they separated bob went to west for getting money but he became a thief after 20 years he came to the same place but big job daddy's restaurant was not there but he was waiting for him in the same place a police officer came and Bob, he narrated all the things to the police officer, not to doubt him, because he was standing in darkness at 10 o'clock at night. The policeman listened to all his story, and he went away. And another tall man came, introduced himself as Jimmy Wells, and both of them, they were very happy. And when they were walking, after some time in the light, Bob saw the tall man's face, and he said, "You are not my friend." Yes, the tall man said, "Yes, I am not your friend. I have come here to arrest you." And he arrested him. Then he gave him a note. on reading the note he understood the first man the first police officer was jimmy wells he came to meet me but how hard it would be for him to see me as a criminal i am a criminal wanted by chicago police so he sent another policeman to arrest me like that the story is ending okay so my dear children hope you have understood the summary right you read the story and do the question answer that is the homework just read the story come on all of you take page number uh page number 31 right page number 31 your homework is please write all the glossary in your notebook and study okay glossary in page number 31 there are some meanings okay read all the glossary write it in a classwork note and memorize those meanings apply those meanings in your regular usage speak in english every time use all these words in your conversation thank you children hope you have understood the summary of the story after 20 years by o henry thank you have a great time